What's going on everybody? This is Delroy and welcome back to my channel. And if this is your first time in the channel, I want to welcome you as well. Today we're gonna to be doing something different. I normally build things from the ground up. We look at prototypes or we look at examples from Unity. In this case, we're gonna be fixing things because you might be encountering issues when deploying to the Oculus Quest 2. So I'm gonna be going through five different issues and very common because a lot of you are telling me that you're having issues. Either you're not seeing the device, in the list of devices to be able to deploy to you might be getting a black screen and also other issues so i'm going to be going through a list and these are the things that are going to be including number one the device is not showing in the deployment options in unity in the build settings so i'm going to show you you know when you go and actually hit build that it shows you the oculus option i'm going to show you how to fix that and if you don't see that then you're going to see it after this video also you're getting a black screen when you deploy so the deployment completes Everything looks like it's going to work, but when you put up the headset, all you see is a loading screen, but nothing actually comes up. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you how to fix that. And then hands or controllers are not showing or moving correctly. This happens a lot. There's a settings file that you need to modify. I'm going to show you how to fix that as well. And yes, we're going to be fixing a lot of things. And number four, we're going to be looking at how we can actually run the, the Oculus Quest within Unity, meaning that we're going to be using the Oculus Link feature. I did a video dedicated for that, but I think I need to cover that just to show you some of the new changes. And then I'm going to show you what is the minimum API level in order for you to be able to build your Oculus Quest application, either Oculus Quest 1 or the Oculus Quest 2. So let's jump into my computer and start looking at some of these issues. All right, guys. So the first thing that we're going to look at is how we fix the issue with device not showing as an option in Unity. So the first thing that I'm going to do is we got to open up the Oculus application on our phone. So I'm going to go ahead and open that up. Once we get it open up, I'm going to assume that you already went through the setup process on your Oculus Quest and you turn it on, you connected it to Wi-Fi. Once you do that and you have it in your, in your local network, you're going to be able to see it here. So if we go to, for instance, we go to settings and I apologize about the notifications. I get a lot of notifications, but you're going to be able to see your device here. Right? It says Oculus Quest 2, Oculus Quest, Oculus Go. So I want to connect to my Oculus Quest 2. And it's going to connect as long as, you know, it's power on and you have it connected to your Wi-Fi. Once you do that, you're going to go into more settings and it's going to give you a lot of different settings. So we're going to be going into developer mode and we're going to be, I already did it. So you're going to be turning developer mode on. I already turned it on. As soon as you turn it on, you're going to have the ability to basically enable the USB option. So I'm going to show you the settings that I have also on my device. All right, so I'm right now on the home screen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go into my settings, go into device, and you're going to see that we're going to have just a lot of different settings in here. Wi-Fi, the Oculus Link, which we're going to be visiting. And we actually need to go down to where it says developer and make sure that you have the USB connecting dialog set to on. That way, whenever the USB cable it's connected to your to your Oculus Quest or Oculus Quest 2, you're gonna see a pop-up and we're gonna have to enable and allow that pop-up that way we can connect to Unity. So let me show you how to do that. So the cable that I'm using is the Anchor cable and this is the one that I got from Amazon, but you're more than welcome to use the one that comes with the Oculus Quest 2 or the Oculus Quest. I'm gonna go ahead and connect it and you're gonna hear a beep and it's going to show us basically a dialog. And this is a dialog that we just, you know, we just looked at in the settings. I'm going to click on allow, select allow, and it's going to basically connect to my computer. Once you do that, it should be showing on the, you know, devices in your build list. So let me go ahead and show you that. Okay, so in Unity, what I'm going to do just to test that, just make sure that we go into build settings and make sure that you change it to Android. That's going to be a requirement. And if I hit refresh, you're going to see that now my Oculus Quest is so it's the one that is showing in addition to any other devices that you might have connected. So that's going to be solving issue number one. Let's go ahead and take a look at the next issue, which is going to be why does it show a black screen when you try to deploy to the Oculus Quest 2? So normally when that happens and I was able to replicate it, it's because you don't have the, the right plugins installed. So there's going to be a couple of things that I want you to check. The first thing is obviously make sure that Android is the one that is selected as the platform. Make sure that you have a scene, the scene that you're trying to build as one of the scenes in the scenes in build. If you don't, make sure you go to the scene and click on add open scenes. Then go into player settings. And if you go into player settings, you're going to go into plugin management. 
If you don't see these options in here, that means that you haven't installed the XR plugin management. So just go ahead and click on install. It'll allow you to do that. Once you do that, it's going to show you basically what I'm looking at right now. More likely, if you're having a black screen issue, is because this checkbox right here is not checked. If I try to build this without that being checked under the Android platform, I'm going to get a black screen because there's not a plugin that, we, that we're going to allow Unity to basically wrap around. So if there are you know, wrappers around Oculus and Unity, this is what makes everything possible. So make sure that you have that enabled. The other thing that I also recommend that you do since we're, we're here, make sure you do the same thing with desktop because if you want to run with the Oculus link, you're going to have to have that enabled here. So it's going to be two of the other options. And then make sure that your target devices, the Quest and the Quest 2 are checked and make sure they match the settings that I have right here. I'm not using Volcom, so this says optimize buffer this car's Volcom. I'm using OpenGL, so if you go into player settings, it's going to be something that I also get questions on, dealing with what is the graphics API, so make sure you have that enabled. Okay, so once you have that, that's basically everything. Just, just hit build and run, and it should fix that black screen issue. The, the other thing, if, you, if that doesn't fix the issue, let's say that you install everything, I would also make sure that you go into package manager, and make sure that you have, so if I go into my right now in project, the, the XR plugin management install the Oculus XR plugin once I click on the Oculus you know, checkbox. So if you install this through the package manager, you basically the, the way that it'll do it is you install this one first and then you install this one after. If you don't do it that way, you can go through the way that I did it, which is going to do that for you. You're going to install it through here. It'll give you a, an option and then just you know, make sure that you set it in the, in the platform and then enable Oculus. So that should fix that issue. Let's go ahead and look at the next issue. So the next issue is going to be, let me go back to the preview. It's hands or controller are not showing up or moving correctly. So this is something that I, that I know I've seen happen a lot. And there's a couple of ways that you can fix this. The first one is going to be go into the Oculus folder and we're gonna go and look at the, basically it's an scriptable object that is in here under the Oculus folder. And normally you're gonna have either controllers only or you're gonna have hands only. I wanna make sure that for the purpose of this demo, where we're gonna be you know, allowing controllers or hands, make sure that you have this one set and then the other settings in here, Quest and Quest 2 are checked. And I believe that this is mapped to the same settings that I just show you under the player settings. So that should fix that problem. The other thing that I've seen happen a, a lot is if I go into assets, Normally, there's going to be, so if I go into Oculus, if you upgrade it from a different version, you might have this Android manifest, and I've seen that, that basically causes a lot of issues. And if you look at it, I think it created a file somewhere in here. If I can find it, I think it actually, yeah, it does it under plugins. If you go under plugins and then Android, make sure that you're, you delete this file because I had a lot of issues with that file. And if you're really familiar with this file, you might be okay, but if you're not, go ahead and delete it and you should be able to deploy to your device. If you need to deploy to the Oculus, you know, the Oculus Store, that's going to be a different situation because you're gonna need an Android manifest in order for them to approve you, even for QA testing, beta testing, and, and production, you know, production release. But if you're doing development, you don't need the file, just go ahead and, you know, go ahead and delete it, and then that should take care of that problem. Then the next one is going to be Oculus Quest in, in play mode not working, right? So one of the issues why, why that happens and why it happened to me many times is because you didn't have these, you know, you didn't have the setting enabled. So let me actually go back into, so make sure you click on XR plugin management. This needs to be checked. If this is not checked, it's not going to be initializing what, you know, the requirements for Oculus to be able to run in, the, in this platform, which is gonna be PC, Mac, and Linux. So if you have that enabled, then you know things should work and we can actually test it with this version right now so i'm just going to go ahead and make sure that you you actually don't need to change platforms because we're actually running on pc mac and linux in my case it's going to be pc so i'm going to go ahead and test it let me go ahead and get it connected and test it okay so before i hit play on my computer what i'm going to do is i'm going to go into settings and then device and you're going to see that there's an option for enable oculus link make sure you select that because it's going to take you to the oculus link experience this is actually the Oculus Rift experience if you're, you know, if you're familiar with that. Then what we need to do is we need to just click on play in Unity and it's going to initialize the experience. 
And looks like I'm seeing my hands. I have this experience is not aligned, but it doesn't matter. We can reset it later, but I just wanted to show you that, you know, everything works. My hands are rendering. And the cool thing with this is you can test it in real time, right? Like if my hands are here, I can go into my objects in here, make any changes that I need, and we can test. This is really, really powerful because we have the full power of Oculus right within Unity. Okay, and the last one is an issue that I had where the Oculus deployment tells me that the minimum API level needs to be 23 or, or, or beyond. So if you get that error, all you really need to do is go into build settings, Android, click on player settings, and then you're gonna go all the way down here and you're gonna see that I have, you know, we have multiple options for Android. If I had 22 or, you know, below, you're gonna get an error. You're not gonna be able to deploy to your Oculus Quest. So make sure you have that or, or beyond. And if you do that, then everything should work. So that's honestly everything that I wanted to cover today. If you guys have any questions on anything that I just mentioned or you are encountering other issues with the Oculus Quest or the Oculus Quest 2, let me know in the comments because I can think of some other things that I can mention for the next video. And also make sure that you subscribe because it's going to help me in bringing you more videos like this and also new videos where we're going to be building new experiences. So thank you very much for your time, guys. I appreciate it. Thank you.